Yeah, good morning, YouTube. So I have this old Black & Decker snake light. It's a flexible flashlight. I think it's about 20 years old, if I remember right. Yeah, the neat thing about it, it has this flexible body to it. You can wrap it around a 2x4 or around a tree branch if you're camping. Uh, you can use it as a really long flashlight. Got a got some uses to it. It's it's kind of handy. It's a bit dated. It's an incandescent bulb. In fact, this is the bulb that's in it. Just your regular 3 volt flashlight bulb. It's a PR2 base and it uses plain old uh, alkaline batteries. So Black & Decker has come out with an updated version of this. They still call it the Snake Light and it features a 4 volt lithium battery rechargeable in the uh, battery part and it uses an array of I think there's four LEDs or LEDs in the head. They're not separate bulbs. It's a custom array so you're you're stuck with the light that it puts out. The light output is 44 lumens and the battery runtime is about five hours and it's $35 at uh, Walmart. So I thought I could do a little better than that. So I wanted to convert this from this incandescent light there that you can see. Here there's no light, just the light from the window. That's the light that I'm starting with. Let me swap bulbs and we can check out what it looks like afterwards. I could put in one of these. This is a one watt LED from superbrightleds.com. It's got a PR2 base, works from 1 to 9 volts, 1 watt and 100 lumens compared to 44 for the new snake light. So put that in there. And then I could put a pair of nickel metal hydride T cells in there, 4,000 milliamp hours. This bulb at uh, 2.4 volts is going to pull about 400 milliamps. So that should probably give me an 8 to 10 hour runtime. So I can put out more than twice the light, twice the runtime of the new model. And this is 11, that's 9, about $20. So I can save $15 over the new snake light and have a better light to boot. And I'll show you that here in a bit. So yeah, here's, uh, this one's pretty easy to get the bulb out. You just pop that guy, that little clip there, and the cover comes right off. Now these are actually pretty neat. They actually give you a spare bulb inside. There's one in the unit and then there's a spare one there. There we go. So let's see, that's one of these. Yeah, this is the wide angle one. So we'll take out that bulb and replace it with this guy. So there we go. See, so you got the bulb in there. And then this goes in here. Actually, I have to have the switch on to get the switch out of the way. And then you just press that down. And let's take a look at that. I'll turn off the lights again. Here's the camera light and the overhead light. So this is the same batteries. That's much better. Much brighter. That's the same bulb I have in my Craftsman work light. I'll put a link to that video here nice thing with this bulb is it varies the current based on the battery voltage. So even if your batteries run down, it maintains constant brightness. That is one light fixed up. So instead of throwing out the whole light, just buy a replacement bulb. Just change the bulb and then I've got some rechargeable batteries. So I don't have to be throwing those away. So there's that.